Hey everyone, Sean here. We've got these two nice tabs of knife river here. I think I'm gonna work the one that's slightly smaller first. I'm gonna work it work it down a little bit off camera first, get used to the material. I've never hit this stuff before. But uh, it looks like really nice quality stuff in there. So a weird thing happened. Pow! This whole thing popped off. This is where we're at after about 15 minutes. There we go. I fixed it. I'm not getting enough strength into these flakes, but this one turned into two little ones on me. Double hit the platform. That was real nice. We got a lot of little step fractures in here. It's making this lump pretty hard to access right now. Oops. And of course the camera runs out for the best flake yet. This one seems like a better antler platform. Probably should use the big one for that. This materials easy to work and hard to work at the same time. I've been working mostly obsidian lately so that's a bit of a tricky transition. That was very nice. That took a lot of tries and I actually missed my target. That's where I wanted to hit. That's where I hit. But hey, look at that. I'll take it. Okay, here's where we are right now. I did another 45 minutes probably off camera before I went to bed last night. 
and uh, this thing's a lot smaller. It's a lot flatter, thinner. I uh, moved down to the indirect percussion for this one. That's all I wanted there to try and start some convexity on this flat side here. I'm hoping to be able to flute this thing, I think. Looking pretty nice back here now. It couldn't have been more perfect. I came out all the way here, feathered out, and took out that earlier uh, remainder from the flake I had taken from the base. And maybe the tip. This side looks like a pretty good base now, even though this end is still fatter, wider. Still have some work to do here, though. There's a couple steps there that are pretty nasty. Here we are after uh, probably another hour's work on this thing last night. In typical fashion, I ended up breaking off about a centimeter of the tip. So I got a little frustrated and went into a bit of a frenzy and just worked this thing down. I fluted this side with the indirect. There was a, a high spot here so the flute died out here and then I had to take some kind of diagonal flakes in from each side, sacrifice some width but I got it more or less straightened out. That's where the high spot was. It's not bad right now. I tried to flute the other side, but this was that very flat face that this big thing came off of at the beginning. So the flute didn't travel at all. I might try and fix it up and flute it again. It's not quite as thin as I would like it back there in the base. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with this so far. I'll probably just do the final pressure flaking and then uh, call this thing good. Still have a kind of weird spot on the tip here. Remnants of a step fracture earlier. So you gotta be careful here. The thing with antler is sometimes it's a bit tricky to make a, a really strong platform initiate, especially with pressure flaking, but once you get one to go, the rest of them come a lot easier.
Okay, so we got the general shape of this thing established. It's pretty clovisy looking at this point. We got the funnel flute platform set up here. Better than nothing. Little baby flute. Fairly thin in there. Probably still a good half centimeter though. I think most Clovises didn't really have that super nice parallel flaking pattern. So I'll probably just do a series from base to tip on both sides, both edges. Mostly just to flatten out, straighten up the edge. Well, they're not the sharpest edges, but it's my first time working Knife River Flint. Pretty happy with it. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Here's the close up shot. I think it turned out fairly well. There's a few lumps and bumps, but I think it's, you know, pretty paleo looking. There we have it.